All right, good morning. It'll be an interesting day today. We are uh, letting the Tesla get picked, and um, we're going to see it go. There'll be another video about why we had to let it go, but this is uh, a uh, video of seeing the guy come down. We'll take it. We'll see what happens. Uh, before that, you are uh, obviously we got our Vienna smoker. We got a nice wristwatch on today. It's a Grand Seiko. And uh, we also have the boots on today. So we got these Meslon, uh, beautiful alligator. I'll do a review of these. Uh, they're made in Spain. They're awesome. So in any event, um, got the dogs out here. It's morning. They want to go out. It's a little too early. We'll go out in a minute. I'm going to get the Tesla charged up and uh, let them come and take it. So here it is, and we'll give it uh, one last little bit of a charge here so they can be on their way. Make sure I got uh, computer or the driver reset, and uh, Watsy's Frisbee. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Watsy, I'm going to put that over there, and... Um, Driving is uh, obviously an issue. <laughs> here I am. But I think I can make it from here to there. If not, it'll be a disaster. <laughs> so, in any event, we did try to clean it out a little bit, but beautiful car. Hate to see it go, but again, watch the, uh, watch the other video and you'll understand why. Well, I just completed the uh, factory reset. Took my um, settings out of here. It's getting, see the T in there, it's just getting back up. We're charging. And um, the Tesla computer should boot back up here shortly. So I think that's about it. Um, we got the uh, nice wheels on there. So it came with it and uh, should be good to go. So again, there it is. Kind of cleaned up the interior for them. And uh, except for sweeping, but overall for a repo, this is probably the easiest uh, repo they'll ever do. All right, as we wait on the uh, repo guy for the Tesla, it's a little early, but I might as well light up one of these old Mac. It is a uh, Claro, so maybe it's not going to be as strong. Got some uh, iced tea, and it's early in the morning, but well, not the we'll, we'll get out there, wait for him, and uh, continue shooting. All right, got the old Mac lit up. Guess you're turning in the car. That's the way to do it, huh? I sprayed the car off. Tires are all dirty, they'll get dirty coming out, but factory reset is ready, so she will go. Well, I got some time while waiting on the uh, repo guy, so um, we'll, we'll shoot that when he, when he gets here. But uh, I guess I felt like reminiscing a little bit. There, there's another video about why we had to let it go, and I can do a short summation of that. Basically, you know obviously with my health issues can't drive uh, this has been a car this model s uh, this was the top of the line in 2016 i did not buy it new bought it used because it was a crazy crazy price new like 134 thousand dollars or something and the car is incredibly fast all-wheel drive it's it's an amazing car but the problem is out of warranty so I, I started having warranty or, or um, maintenance issues, different things, and it was expensive. And the car payment's really high, so it just didn't make sense. And then Tesla, the, the aftermarket, really took a nosedive with uh, some of the price drops. And so this car quickly became well underwater, could not, uh, could not break even on it and uh, so the most sensible thing I hate to do it I always made my payments on time but 
is, is to turn it back to the bank because uh, literally it's twenty thousand dollars negative equity probably so and and you know a very high car payment so we don't need that i can't drive it uh, lisa's got her own car in her name not my car I, you know everything else is gone so it needs to go back take the insurance off and um you know somebody's going to get a great deal on this you know fantastic uh performance uh like zero to 60 in three seconds all-wheel drive goes better than any goes better than that subaru does in the winter believe it or not it's got a huge amount of storage space you can get four dogs in there easy the electronics everything's great Problem is the battery warranty, it's still on there to 150,000 miles. It's got a little over, I don't know what, it's got 110 or something on it now. Um, but that may be an issue, but just the routine maintenance um, was was pretty, you know, there's not much routine, no oil change, there's no transmission. But things, weird things like steering and the tires go bad, real, they wear unevenly, uh, even though you try to get it aligned, they say, well, it's kind of, needs this needs that several thousand dollars worth of stuff sometimes and so it's it's just you know i think they're working it out i do think the model probably a more reliable vehicle i don't know not as fast maybe not as fun but still still a great car so anyway we'll keep waiting for them to show up and there he is Here comes Repo. Uh oh. I'm going to greet him with a cigar. Oh, he's not one of these Repo guys that first comes out and wants to kick your ass first. So you're subdued. Take the car. <laughs> comes on the. Well, I wouldn't take it on that flatbed, but I guess that's what they're going to do. I just drive this some of it away. down the lane. I'm gonna watch my stability here. I'm still pretty on the feet, but you know, a little bit wobbly. There it comes. I don't know if he's gonna like me in video tape, but he's gonna get it. And come back here where it's a little more stable. Mm-hmm. All right, buddy, you the guy? All right. There he is. I'm going to shut the... Hey, we got it squared away. All right, he's going to take it away. And what's your name, sir? Uh, Ryland. All right, and what company? Source One. All right, cool. You're taking the Tesla. Yep. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right, have a good one. Yep, you too. There he goes. I told him he could just drive it away and be easier, but he's like, nah, I gotta flatbed it. So, that is what he's gonna do. He's got both keys. And then, uh, this ought to be interesting. I guess since it's only one guy, if there's another guy, he could have just drove it. Hmm. Well, he's got it hooked up, strapped, and uh, he's going to head out. Interesting day, nonetheless. It feels good, though. I don't need it. 
need it to go. And there it goes. And I'm sure somebody's going to get a pretty nice deal. They'll probably go to auto auction. I don't know what they'll do with it, but um, heck of a car. It'll probably go pretty cheap. And, um, you know, you get a maybe 10, 15 grand, maybe. Who knows? So there she goes. <laughs> All right, nothing wrong with that. I mean, the bank was great. I won't say what bank it was, just, but they're, they're really, really great. Um, you know, I explained the circumstances and um, we'll come get it. So I guess we'll, I don't know what it'll do with the credit and all that stuff, but it's better to, better to let her go. So anyway, yeah, I, I didn't know how I'd feel about, you know, I sold the Mustang, which is good. Got what I wanted out of that and, uh, Want the Tesla go and and um, it's all good. It's all part of acceptance. Um, you know, life is good today. Enjoy life. What I have. Try to make good decisions. And uh, thank God for another day. This uh, beautiful green planet. So, all right, that'll do it. Thanks for watching.